noise pollution is unwanted sound which interferes with communication, work, rest, recreation or sleep. It is usually produced by human activities like industries, transportation, construction work or the use of electrical and electronic devices and gadgets. Unlike other forms of pollution like air, water or pollution caused by hazardous material, noise does not remain in the environment for long. However, while its effect is immediate in terms of annoyance, they are cumulative as far as their impact on health is concerned. In this program, we shall discuss the effect of noise pollution on health and also the possible steps that can be taken for decreasing noise pollution. Acceptable sound levels. Only some levels of sound in the atmosphere are acceptable to the human ear. Sounds that go beyond these levels become noise. According to Kelsberger et al., 1973, the acceptable sound levels for various places are residential area, bedroom, 25 decibels, living room, 40 decibels, commercial area, office, 30 to 45 decibels, conference, 40 to 45 decibels, restaurants, 40 to 60 decibels. Industrial area, workshop, 40 to 60 decibels, laboratory, 40 to 50 decibels. Educational area, classroom, 30 to 40 decibels, library, 35 to 45 decibels. But according to the Environment Protection Third Amendment Rule, 1989, the standard limits of sound of various places in India are industrial area, daytime 75 decibels and nighttime 70 decibels, commercial area, daytime 65 decibels, nighttime 55 decibels, residential area, daytime 55 decibels, nighttime 45 decibels, silent zone, daytime 50 decibels and nighttime 40 decibels. Noise exposure, duration and intensity. Continuous exposure to sound is always harmful to the hearing system. There is a level beyond which it creates pollution. The degree of hearing loss depends on the duration and the intensity of sound. The maximum exposure limit for various sound levels is 80 decibel sound for 12 hours, 90 decibels for 8 hours, 93 decibels for 4 hours, 96 decibels for 2 hours, 99 decibels for 1 hour. 100 decibels for 30 minutes, 105 decibels for 15 minutes, 108 decibels for 7 minutes, 111 decibels for 3 and a half minutes, 114 decibels for 2 minutes, 115 decibels for 1 minute, 118 decibels for 30 seconds, 124 decibels for 15 seconds, 127 decibels for 4.2 seconds, 130 decibels for 2 seconds, 133 decibels for 1 second and 135 decibels for 0 0.6 seconds. The effect of various intensities of sound on human hearing is Less than 25 decibels, no problem in hearing. 25 to 40 decibels, problem in hearing of soft speech. 40 to 50 decibels, 
problem in hearing of normal speech. 55 to 70 decibels, problem in hearing. 70 to 90 decibels, only shouted speech can be understood. More than 90 decibels, unable to hear. Intensity of noise impacts human health in various ways. 80 decibel is considered as annoying. 90 decibels, hearing damage for 8 hours. 95 decibels is very annoying. 100 decibels, stimulation of reception in skin. 120 decibels, pain threshold. 130 to 135 decibels, nausea, vomiting, dizziness, interference with touch. 140 decibels, pain in the ear, insanity in cases of prolonged exposure. 150 decibels, burning of skin, changes in pulse rate. 160 decibels, other minor permanent damage. 180 decibels, eardrum rupture and other permanent damage. 190 decibels, lung damage. Impact of noise pollution on human body. Noise pollution impacts human body in various ways. It creates excretory disorders influencing the quantity of urine excreted due to the presence of ketosteroids. It leads to respiratory disorders making it difficult for a person to breathe. Integumentary system is also affected decreasing the power of resistance of the skin causing dryness of the skin and creating cracks. The nervous system is affected with brain fatigue, sleep interference, abnormal conscious states and decreased sensation. It causes auditory disorders like deafness and auditory fatigue. Optical disorders include dilation of the pupil and muscular tension. Digestive disorders leading to gastrointestinal problems may also occur. The cardiovascular system is affected with disturbed blood flow, disturbed pulse rate, disturbed heart rate and disturbed BP. Impact of noise pollution on human behavior. Noise pollution affects human behavior as well by disturbing peace, creating annoyance, creating anxiety, aggression, depression, mental disorientation, lack of concentration, reducing work efficiency, interference in enjoyment and errors in judgment. Effect of noise pollution on wildlife. The results of noise pollution on wildlife are migration of birds from the noise habitat, Zoo animals like deer, lions and rabbits become dull and inactive and their health deteriorates. Affects food habits. Affects mating behavior. Stress reaction due to dysfunction of endocrine glands like thymus and adrenal. Impact of noise pollution on non-living matter. Vibration originating from high intensity noise causes shattering of window panes, loosening of plaster of house walls, cracks in walls, cracks in household crockery, depreciation of residential property located near airports, highways, industrial areas. Control of noise pollution. Noise pollution can be reduced or controlled by various methods. Noise can be controlled at source by 
using silencing devices in noise producing equipments keeping the noise producing equipments at a distance choosing machines or equipments that produce less noise conducting noisy operations in the open or away from residential areas keeping industrial area away from residential area using electric or battery operated devices in place of petrol or diesel operated devices control of noise at transmission level various kinds of barriers are available which absorb noise these can be used to reduce sound pollution some of these barriers and their sound absorbing capacities are asbestos 0.6 mm 26 decibels brickworks 11.6 mm 40 decibels fireboard 1.2 mm 18 decibels plywood 0.6 mm 21 decibels cement slab 7.6 mm 35 decibels lead sheet 0.5 mm 15 decibels plastic board 1.3 mm 12 decibels compressed wood 5 mm 28 decibels chipboard 1.8 mm 26 decibels clinker blocks 7.5 mm 23 decibels curtains 0.25 mm 22 decibels protection from sound pollution ear plugs ear muffs persons who are bound to be exposed to sounds of pollution levels can use ear plugs and ear muffs as protection devices plantation trees and bushes have the quality to absorb noise and reduce the intensity of sound thus plantation around the house and industries can reduce the level of noise pollution control of noise pollution through education and awareness awareness can be created in people through education awareness camps and programs about the adverse effect of noise pollution use of legislation use of pollution free devices should be made mandatory legislation can be brought in for the creation of silent zones laws can be created for completely banning devices and activities which produce noise of pollution levels laws like ipc 1060 sections 268 278 290 which define noise of resistance level and punishment for the same should be strictly implemented regional laws should be enforced like mp control of music and noise act 1951 the rajasthan noise control act 1963 the bihar control of the use of loudspeakers act 1955 Railway Act 1948, the Motor Vehicles Act 1939, and Delhi Motor Vehicles Act 1940, the Environment Protection Act 1972. Noise is a silent killer of all life forms. Only self-discipline and social awareness can save the people from noise pollution. We also need a special declaration for noise pollution. because the stockholm declaration of 1972 which deals with environmental pollution does not consider noise as a pollutant noise pollution needs to be recognized as a source of environmental pollution and only then can effective steps be taken for protecting the environment and the health of all life forms